Hello, this is Renee Esquivel, and you're watching my latest YouTube video uh, on my channel, Technologist on the Go. I would really appreciate it if you gave me a like and subscribe. Um, crossover, uh, the application that lets you run uh, Windows-only apps under Mac OS, uh, is, I think, a, a vital app on the new hardware running with the M1 processor uh, because of the speed and performance they give and the lack of boot camp on, on the new systems. But does Codeweaver make sense to buy on the Intel side? It's going to run about $90. You can find coupons to make it cheaper, but um, does it make sense to get get that on the Intel side? It's going to cost you as much as it would to get a subscription to Parallels Desktop. My conclusion is no. Uh, Boot Camp and in combination with Parallels Desktop is unbeatable. But uh, let me go ahead and show you uh, what I found here and then you decide for yourself. Okay. Um, I'm going to install a piece of software that I use uh, regularly uh, on the Windows side. It's um, IP Office Manager from Avaya. I do uh, a fair bit of work with, with their systems. I've already extracted a zip file for the software, and so I'm going to go ahead and run the setup executable uh, using Crossover. Yeah, I just got to name my uh, the app, or they call it a bottle in, in crossover lingo. Okay. Uh, and let me hit the install button. Okay, you can see it doing its initial work there, and the installer does launch. Um, let me just go through answering the yes for the default questions. And um, I don't see any difference in the in what it does now through Crossover and the way it installs oh, natively in Windows. And uh, I'm just uh, taking the defaults, the same as I've always done. And uh, so far, so good. And uh, okay, it looks like we're nearly done there. So I'm going to go ahead and launch via IP Office, and you'll see how it runs uh, side by side with uh, the same application running in Windows 10. Um, yeah. And now I know the Windows one yeah. works. Uh, I'm not sure about the one in Crossover. I don't have an Avaya system of my own to test with, and it has to interact with their hardware. So it's not something I would... Okay, and next, I'll, I just wanted to install uh, an app that I wouldn't be able to run under Windows just to see Crossover doing its thing. I chose the game Among Us because it's, it doesn't take a lot of disk space and I don't have a lot on my MacBook Pro at the moment. And, um, and the reviews, as you can see there, it says it runs great. Um, so... Um, I just followed the, the regular prompts for installing it, and it went through just fine. Uh, it did load Steam as well, as that's a required. It runs under Steam. Uh, so I brought all those components in, and uh, you can see here uh, when I... Uh, it does uh, load Steam, and then I install the game through Steam. Uh, and then it'll, I think it'll have an update as well, and then it'll be ready to play. Uh, I did, I have spent a lot of this up, so it doesn't take up a lot of time for you. Uh, it's downloading one of the more, uh, one of the final components. And now the game is launched, and you can see it there. It's, it's running. Um, now, uh, I'm not an expert in this by no means. This is actually the first time I'm I'm playing it. I have a family member that is really good at this, but they're not available. Okay, I'm the Toad Scenic, the red uh, person they're running. Um, I didn't know to do much more than just run around and try to avoid uh, 
getting taken out by whoever the imposter is in this game. I really wanted to demonstrate. Of course, I didn't last until I got fragged. I was the first one to go. But my purpose was just to show up playing, and it played fantastically well. Um, okay, so in conclusion, what I uh, found is uh, Code Weaver uh, crossover doesn't make a whole lot of sense on the Intel side. Um, I mean, yeah, it has low overhead compared to running Parallels desktop, but w the whole context here is using this for uh, business apps. And why would you want to do something under this kind of an emulation when you can use Boot Camp and run Windows natively, there's no question that it'll, your apps are going to work because it's, it's Windows. And uh, if you use Parallels Desktop in conjunction with that, then you never have to boot into the Windows side. You just run it concurrently with your Mac OS. And I often have support um, remoted through my laptop accessing their router or switch or via system or or other hardware and they don't know they're running on a macbook pro they're simply in a windows partition like they want and require they're running apps that there's no question they're going to work it's in a bona fide windows environment and while they're doing their thing um over on the mac os side um uh checking up on on or the work orders that I have upcoming, making application for additional uh, assignments. Yeah, I work for myself, and so I'm running my business and uh, maximizing the time I have. So it's a wonderful advantage that uh, I have on the Intel side. And uh, so, no, Code Weaver crossover for the Mac OS Intel does not get my recommendation. Um, but uh, I certainly believe there's a strong place for it on the M1 side with the newer systems. But that'll be for another video I'll have coming up. So thank you very much. And please like and subscribe.